Right, we're gonna do a plinth detail today. We might be doing it a bit different to other people do it. We'll show how we do it. So we've already top coated the wall. We scratched the top coat and we put another scratch on top of the top coat. And now we'll put our final coat on top of it and we'll cut a little angle across the top. So we'll just show our way of doing it. Might be different to other ways, but this is the way we've sussed it out. So we'll give it a go, won't we? Put it on as normal and we want to try and just go as tight as we can to this level line we've marked Yeah, we've got to make sure we fill to that line, which is a bit tricky. We're probably doing this in the wrong order because you can do this with a batten, but because we've top coated, we can't fix a batten anywhere because ideally you want to go up, up to, to something. Up. You just got to make sure you get that filled nicely to the top there. We've done this a few times on this job, so this, this method does work all right. So just make sure all that's filled before you straight edge off. So it's all going off together. Right, we'll just straight edges off as normal. Don't leave it go too dry because it's a nightmare to do the top otherwise. On a hot day like this, it does not take long. It is a scorcher for Britain anyway, isn't it? attempting a plinth detail is probably going to be alright at plastering anyway because if you haven't plastered before doing a plinth detail like this it's probably not going to be the best thing to start out on Be very careful on the top. You don't hit it too much, it'll just peel off. Right, we'll just float it as normal before we do anything with the top. We cut any angles, so right. We're just gonna float this wall as normal, it's good for the top of the can as well. But uh, right. You're not going to explain what that is. Well, just to get the float marks out, as I say, this method that we're doing, it's probably going to be an experienced plasterer doing it anyway. I don't think it. Well, it was the first time. Plaster. Yeah, it was interesting for apprentices and all to watch. Yeah. That gets the float marks out anyway, just gives it a more even finish. Right, now this is our tool we've made. You can buy them like this, but. We just made one. We've made one. This we've already marked a line there, so we're just trying to be at the same point down from the line. If I don't put a level on this, what we're looking to do is just rest it on the wall gently. You've got to keep pressure with one hand. And you're looking to 
sort of fold the surplus compo back in like that. And you've got to catch this before it's gone off too much. If it's gone off too much, it'll be a nightmare and you won't be able to do it. Like that, so that's fine. And then take it away and you have to trim, you're gonna have bits like that, so you have to trim very lightly some of that off. Like a razor blade. A razor blade. Very delicate this is, very, very delicate. You can always run the sponge now back across this edge here. <laughs> you can just run. They're, they've got one of those in college, I can take one if you want. <laughs> just run this, being very careful of that edge. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Just keep working along like that, as long as you're the same distance down from that top line. And you can, you can tell if it's running out anyway, because of the way it's following yeah. what you've done last. Which you are starting to run out. So we get that little angle finish. We'll do the rest of it now. Right, she's all done. It's our angle right across, nice and sharp. And it's just trying to keep that bottom line nice and flat. But we won't, we're happy with that. Just adds a bit of features to the wall. Bit of a nightmare to do. Other people might do it different, but that's our method, isn't it? Apprentice Cam, do you want to show us your latest tattoo? Talk right. us through it. Rex of Toy Story, mate. Rex of Toy Story. Probably that. No, no. Nice bit of colour on the arm. I wonder what our viewers think of it. We'll see five of you with all different Toy Story things. What's the next one? Right. Apprentice of the Year on your back, is it? Very good, Patrick. Patrick. Uh, so. Where's that going? Yeah. We're nearly at the end of this job now, so I'll have a little walk through. This is the one we were doing earlier. This little thing. We've done these pillars. They're going to have the same fifth detail. There's one here we've done. Done these splints. This one's going to be a pillar with a print on. We've done these with the cool steps. This is probably your favourite part of the job. This one. Expansion joint right in the middle of it as well to make it more awkward. Just did it. This is a pillar with a plinth on. We got the angle plinth and curved corners, which was, to say the least, an absolute nightmare. This is the one from the video before. Maybe one more day, maybe one more day. And there's uh, on top of these is going to be slate down the customer will put on to look like a little roof or something, a little protection.